Welcome to Donna's Farmhouse Kitchen. Sky is back in the kitchen. So we are going to make dinner for tonight. It's going to be a meatloaf. We're going to get started with two pounds of ground beef. And it's the 8515. So, and we are wearing gloves to cut down on the mess, of course. And uh, so she's having fun with her gloves. Let me put this out of the way. Okay, pay attention. Okay, so we have two pounds of ground beef. Then we're going to put in. Then we're going to put in one medium onion, and it's going to be finely chopped. So it's very finely chopped. Yeah. Um, exactly a cup is what I put in. I actually measured it, so it's it's a cup. And then we're going to put two large eggs. These are probably more like extra large, but that's what I have, and that's what we're going to use. And then we're going to put in some garlic. You want to put in the garlic? Yeah. You don't want to touch it? Okay, well, Nani will touch it because we're about to touch everything anyway. Okay. And then we're going to put in three tablespoons of ketchup. So let me shake this bottle real quick. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. Nice. You gonna help me? So this is two tablespoons. And then we're gonna put in half of that. So there we go. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna set that off to the side. And then we're going to add three fourths cup of Italian breadcrumbs. Three fourths of a cup. Wow. Yeah, wow. Wow, that's a shit ton. And that's about exactly how much I have left. It's amazing how often that happens to me. And Go ahead, put it in there. Put it in there. Good job, good job. Yeah. Yeah, good job. That worked out. Perfect. We love when that happens, huh? Okay. And then we're going to put in one third cup of milk. You want to help me? Yeah. Help me. Right right here. Okay. Yay! Yay! So we're going to put in one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. One teaspoon. It's always fun to say, huh? Can you say Worcestershire sauce? There you go. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to add in two teaspoons of basil. And this is the one my mom really liked, and I have learned to like a lot. Two teaspoons. I love basil. I love fresh basil a lot. Yeah. Put it in there. Whoa. Yeah. And that's why I want to have a good hold of. And then we'll do a teaspoon of thyme and a teaspoon of rosemary. And for some reason, where did my thyme go? My thyme is hiding on me somewhere. Hmm. Let me go ahead and do the rosemary. Put it in there gently, gently. There you go, good girl. And we're also gonna put in some paprika. It's gonna be a half a teaspoon of paprika. We definitely hold on to this spoon. I don't wanna have orange everywhere. Okay, ready? There you go. There you go, good job. Now we're going to add some, uh, it's called Washington G. Washington's rich brown seasoning and broth. Okay, we're going to use a whole packet of that. Sprinkle that on in. Now we're going to play. <laughs> Are we going to play? Are we going to mix? You yeah. ready to mix? Yeah. Okay, let's mix. Let's mix. 
Go ahead, baby. Yeah, let's mix. No, keep it in there. Keep it in there. Do it like that. Could down in there. Here. No, 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 no. Let's mix. You want Nani to do it? You want to do it? <laughs> He's so silly. Let Nani flip it up a little bit. There we go. Let's get some of that egg moving around here. Mmm, smells good, huh? Mmm, yummy. That smells so good. Yeah. You're doing a good job. You want to help Nani some more? Mmm, mmm. Now, if you've seen my other meatloaf, the, um, I think I have it under Mexican meatloaf. That's a really good one. So, we'll see how this turns out. This is definitely... Uh -oh. What are you doing? <laughs> you better be careful. I have a video that I haven't posted yet. But it has her eating onions. I don't think I posted that one. And it's quite hilarious. <laughs> All of a sudden I call her in my onions that I had chopped up for something else I was making. And um, yeah, so it was um, very interesting and very cute. Okay, so you want to line your nine by five pan, your loaf pan. It's a loaf pan. Okay, back up. You know what I haven't, I just realized I haven't uh, added to it and I meant to add to it. Let's see if I can do this. Are you tired? I forgot to add. I'm going to try to do this as neatly as possible. Um, the salt and pepper. I'm going to add a one and a half teaspoons of salt. So, there you go. That's about right. <laughs> and then we're going to add a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper so let me just there that's plenty okay and then i'm going to go ahead and mix that in real good so did you get that one and a half teaspoons of salt and one fourth teaspoon of pepper okay we are about done we are going to put it in this parchment paper lined loaf pan let me get this bowl out of the way. Get everything else out of the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me. Oh. You want to help me pat it down? Pat it down. Pat it down. Pat it down. Pat it down. Okay. Well, we're going to uh, pat this down and get it in the oven. And uh, we will be back in just a few minutes and show you how it turns out. One thing I forgot, we are going to add some ketchup to the top of it. That's all I like to add. I'm fine with just ketchup. And then we'll be back and see how it comes out. Okay, we are back and the scrumptious looking meatloaf is ready. So we uh, had it in the parchment paper and into this dish. It's still nice and hot. I'm not going to cut into it yet because I want the, the juices to redistribute. But she's ready to dive in, I think, and she's not much of a meat eater. So I don't want to cut into it yet because I want the juices to redistribute. But we can't wait to dive into it. And what I did was I took the parchment paper and I just slipped it. I took a spatula and went one way and the parchment paper the other way and it just slips right out. We're gonna go, cause she's anxious. And uh, y'all have a wonderful day and I hope y'all enjoy this recipe. Make sure you subscribe right below to our YouTube channel and um, we will
Talk to y'all later. Love you bunches. You want to say bye? Bye. One more note. Be sure and cook your meatloaf for 50 minutes. So cook it for 50 minutes, and I think it'll turn out perfectly. Thank you for joining me. Y'all have a great night.